Welcome to unit 4.2. In the last unit we already discussed three of the six different glide planes that can occur in crystal structures. We will now proceed with the more special variants of glide planes, the glide planes N, D and E. Let's begin with the glide plane N. In contrast to the three simple glide planes A, B and C, in which the translation directions are always along one of the axes of the crystallographic coordinate system, here the translation direction is diagonal. This is how I remember this, N as in diagonal. And this means we have to translate the object after the reflection in two directions. We have to consider two cases two possible scenarios. This kind of glide plane can be running perpendicular or along the projection or drawing plane respectively. First let's look at this scenario in which the glide plane is perpendicular to the drawing layer as shown here. This is the starting situation and now we reflect this locomotive at this plane and this gives this picture. The height the z-coordinate changed, of course not. Still, the locomotive lies behind the drawing plane. And now two translations have to be applied. First, by one half of the unit cell along the y-axis, and then also by one half along the z-axis. So, the locomotive is now above the drawing layer, and in total a diagonal movement was carried out parallel to the BC plane. In 3D this kind of glide plane looks like this. Mirroring at the BC plane, translation parallel along the BC diagonal, mirroring again, further translation in the diagonal direction and so on. In the second scenario the mirror plane is oriented parallel to the drawing layer. This is indicated again with such a symbol which indicates the plane and the translation direction is indicated as well, a diagonal movement in the AB plane. Okay, first we carry out the reflection at this grey drawing layer. This means the Z coordinate is inverted, the locomotive lies now behind this plane. And then the translation component is diagonal in the AB plane meaning the x and y coordinate increase by one half simultaneously. There are two special glide planes left. Next we will explore glide planes D. They are also sometimes called diamond-like glide planes because they occur indeed in the crystal structure of diamond. Again easy to remember D as diamond. This is again a glide plane in which a diagonal translation operation has to be carried out, but this time, and in contrast to the glide plane N, only by one quarter in two directions, not one half. So here in this scenario the glide plane is oriented perpendicular to the drawing layer and we start with this locomotive located at a height z above the drawing layer. First we have to reflect it at this plane and then we move this locomotive first by one quarter along the B or Y direction and then also by one quarter along the positive C or Z direction. Which is in total equivalent to a diagonal movement parallel to the BC plane. Mirroring again Translation along B and along C leads to this state and once again mirroring and translation and so forth. Let's look again how this looks in 3D. Interestingly, as you probably already noticed, the existence of pure mirrors or glide planes with a translational component of one half usually leads to one copy of the given object. They are only doubled. But this special glide plane D generates three copies, 
which means that in total a set of four objects are generated by this glide plane. Let's pause for a moment. You might ask, why are we doing this? And what is the meaning of generating objects? Aren't the objects, namely the atoms of a crystal, already there? No, indeed, they are already there. But we are doing this because we want to be able to characterize symmetry-related atoms, symmetry-related positions within a crystal. Let's take one step back. If we have a mirror plane, and if this mirror plane is applied to an object, then this object is in a way doubled. The mirror image of this object is generated. In a crystal, the two atoms, which are symmetry related to each other by such a mirror, are of course already there. So if I speak about a copy of an object, then I speak about the impact of such symmetry elements. To remember, the final goal is to be able to derive all atomic positions of a crystal. And it is sufficient to specify only a few of them because the others are, in quotation marks, generated by applying the set of symmetry elements of the crystal structure. So this is meant when I speak about generation or copies of objects. Let's move on and discuss the last missing glide plane E. Here also a set of four objects will be generated. This is, in my opinion, the most difficult glide plane to understand. And the reason for this might be that in a way two different planes are present at the same time. However, they have the same orientation. They fall together. The plane component of this glide plane is identical. And this means the mirroring, the reflection part, is identical for both planes. And the two differ only by the translation direction. Okay, let's look at this scenario. This dashed point line marks two glide planes simultaneously. Both are oriented perpendicular to the drawing layer. Now we will apply the first glide plane of this set, the glide plane B. This means mirroring and then translation by one half along the B direction. So this is the result of the glide plane B. Now we also have the glide plane C and the mirror component is identical with the mirror component of the glide plane B. Mirroring and then translation, but now in the positive direction of C because it's a glide plane C. So this transforms this locomotive into that one. But we also have to carry out this symmetry operation with that locomotive. Mirroring and then again translation along the positive C direction. And now we see that the two locomotives which are located above the drawing layer at height Z plus one half are, of course, also symmetry related to each other, namely as these two below the drawing layer by the glide plane B. Again, let's see a 3D animation of the impact of such glide plane E. As I said before, this may take a little while to sink in, but as we go along, it will become more familiar and clearer. <laughs> 